All right, so in this video, I'm going to take a look at how to create a wall style and create some walls in Revit. So once you get Revit open, just go ahead and click on New and just select any architectural template. Uh, we've got special templates here, but just any architectural template, hit OK. Once this gets open, we're going to go and start off with creating our wall style, so an exterior wall. So for this particular project, I need a 2x6 exterior wall. So I'll come to the Architecture tab, click on Wall. Once this opens, I'm going to come over here under Properties and click on Edit Type. Come in here to Edit Type. So this is the type properties for this particular wall that I had selected. And I had a generic 8-inch wall selected. So I'm going to make a copy of this. So I'll click on Duplicate. And I'm going to type in 2x6 Exterior. And then I'm going to put our initials for Salina Area Technical College, so SATC after it, so I know that I made this wall style. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now I click on Structure, the Edit button next to Structure. And in here is where we set up our different layers. So my Structure layer, that thing is going to be 5.5 inches. So I'll just type in 5.5 and put my inch mark in there. So that's my 2x6, and now I need to insert some layers. So I need a sheathing layer, I need a siding layer, layer, and then I need a sheetrock layer for the inside. So once I get three more layers added, I'll click here on row four and then move it down. So I get it outside my core boundary, and it's on the interior side. So then I'll make this sheetrock. So what we use for sheetrock is finish two, and then a half an inch thick. And then for these two layers at the top, I'll select on row two and move it up so it's outside of my core boundary and it's on the exterior side. And then I'll click on row three and move it up as well. So now all the way at the top, that's going to be all the way on the outside. So it's going to be my siding. So I'm going to use finish one for my siding layer. And I'm just going to say that it's 7 16ths of an inch thick. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and make it 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. And then for row 2, that's going to be my sheathing layer. So I'm going to make it substrate, and then I'll make it 7 sixteenths of an inch thick. All right, so there's my wall style. It's 6 and 5 eighths inches thick. I'll go ahead and hit OK. That takes me back to my type properties. I'll hit OK again. And now I'm almost ready to start creating some walls. So when you go to create walls, a few places, First, your draw panel. So what type of wall do you want to create? Uh, you know, just by drawing lines, by drawing rectangles, polygons, circles, arcs, whatever. So set your draw panel, then take a look through your options bar here. So this is at the top. I want my top of my wall connected to level two. So it's going to start at level one, my base constraints level one, top constraints level two. And then when you're clicking, we're going to be clicking points in here. Those points that you click, what are you specifying? So that's where you find this, so your location line. So I'm going to say I'm clicking on the core face exterior. So I'm going to select that. And then this offset box, that would be if I'm clicking a line here, I don't want my wall to be on that line. I want it to be offset from that line four foot to one side or the other. That's what you'd use offset for. So I've got my draw panel set, options bar set, check my properties. So that's the wall I want to be creating. And then just go ahead and scroll down through the options bar here. And everything, everything looks good. Yep, everything looks good. So now we just click a point in here anywhere. And I'm just going to move my cursor. And for this particular demo, it's going to be about 46 feet long by 24 feet wide. So I just get somewhere close to that area. So right there, 46 by 24, and I can click. Now I'll hit escape to get out of my wall command because I actually want to make this the size it's going to be. So before I do that, I'm going to do a little bit of a drawing setup. So the first thing I need to take a look at is under the Manage tab. So if I go to Manage, come on over to Additional Settings, come on down to Temporary Dimensions. I want my temporary dimensions to be snapping to the faces of the core for walls and center lines for doors and windows. So I'll set those two appropriately. Hit OK. I'm going to change my level of detail down here to be a fine level of detail and when I do that now I can see my siding layer my sheathing and my sheetrock layer and this thick layer is my studs and that's what I want to dimension to and then the last thing 
is if you haven't done it yet, on the View tab, there's this option for thin lines. So when you've got it turned off, you can't really see those layers. So you'll turn it on and then it'll stay on. And now you can see those thin layers. So we've got that stuff set. Now I can dimension this. So I'm going to click on this dimension tool. I'm going to zoom in here. And before I start clicking, I'm going to select here what I want to be clicking on. So on my options bar again, I want to be selecting faces of core. So when I come in here, I can select that stud and go from the one stud to the next. Pull that up and just place that dimension anywhere up there. And then to make this house the size I want it to be, I'll select one of these walls. And when you select the wall, you'll see your temporary dimension comes in down here. But then this dimension I placed, are, it went blue as well. So I can just click on that blue text. I can just type in, I actually want this to be 46 feet, 4 inches. So I'll type 46 space 4 and hit enter. And then I'll do the same thing for the width of this house. So I'll click on dimension again, zoom in here, get on that outside face of my stud. Zoom back out, zoom back in, get the outside face of stud there. So I'll click on those two, just pull that dimension out. I'll click there, hit escape a couple of times. And now again, if I click on a wall, whatever wall I'm clicking on, that's what's going to move. So then zoom in here, find this blue text on my dimension, and I want to make this 24 feet, 4 inches. And then just click anywhere to clear those selections. So now this is kind of the base structure for my house. And now I can go ahead and add more walls to it. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Let me pause this so I can create an interior wall style, and then I'll show you how to add in some interior walls. Okay, so what I've done is create a new wall style. So once you click on wall, now I've got this two by four interior wall. So if I take a look at it, click on edit type. So I made a copy of the other one that we created and then just went into edit and changed the structure. So now my structure is three and a half inches because it's a two by four. And then I've got sheetrock on each side, so I made each one of them finish too. So I'm going to hit OK there, hit OK here. Again, this time I'm just going to be drawing some single lines. And everything here on my options bar is going to stay the same. I've got the correct wall type selected in properties. Everything in the properties box looks good. Now I can start drawing some walls. So I'm going to just click in here anywhere. You can click on any one of these lines, and this wall is going to clean up. So I'm going to have some walls that are going to come across like this. And then I'm going to have another wall come across here. I'm going to have a little bedroom right there. And then I'm going to have a little closet right here. So before I draw this closet, if I check the box for chain, then it'll allow me to draw multiple walls. And then I just need to hit escape once. And then this room right here is my laundry. So again, I'll just click here, kind of come up here and over, and then hit escape a couple times. This is my laundry. This is where the hot water heater and furnace are going to be. So now I need to go and put some dimensions on these and make them go where they want to go. So the way I, I want to handle my dimensions is I want all my dimensions to be one string. So if I click on this dimension string, I can click on edit witness lines. And then I can add these dimensions to it. So I'll click on the stud layer on that first wall. Come on over. Click on same thing there. Come on over to this next one. And I'm going to click here. So then the one problem I've always had with this edit witness lines command is once you add them, don't hit escape. What you do is you click out in open space. And that was something that just took me a while to to remember that to figure out what I was doing there. And then as you're working on these dimensions, just start on one side and work your way across. So for this, I'm going to start from over here on the right. So I'm going to select this wall because that's the wall I want to move. I'm going to click on this text. I want to make that 19 feet 9 inches. So I'll change that. And then this next one, select the next wall. Click on my dimension, make that 10 feet, 6.5 inches. Click out in open space. Click on my next wall. So this is a closet. So this closet's actually going to be 2 feet, 4.5 inches wide. 
and then that leaves me with 13 feet 8 inches. And then I could go ahead and finish this up, put another dimension on here. So I'm going to dimension from this inside face of that stud to this layer of that wall so I get my size of my closet. And then I can do the same thing over here. So inside face of that stud to that side of the stud and then to my wall that's really going to be creating my hallway. Click out in space to place it. Hit escape a couple times and then again I want to move this this wall so I'll click on it. Zoom in here to where I can click on that. I want to change that to five foot four. So I've got that wall where I want it. And now same thing working from top down. So this first wall I want that to be at three feet seven. And that's actually where it is right now. So I can leave it there. And then this wall, I want it to be five foot six away. So I'll select it, type in five foot six. So there you go. That's how you go about creating walls and drawing walls, placing some dimensions, and then moving these walls to where you want them. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.